Hey there everybody, welcome back to the Four String Strummer, the channel It's all about ukuleles. Tonight we're working on an old song called Hang Me, Oh Hang Me. And this was actually featured in the movie Inside Lewin Davis. Um, anyway, this song is known actually by a number of different uh, titles. It's been called Hang Me, Oh Hang Me. It's been called uh, The Gambler. I Went Up on a Mountain. So there's quite a few different titles for it. And nobody really knows for sure who wrote it. It's, so it's basically a traditional song from many years ago. I'll play it through for you, I'll play the whole song, and then uh, afterwards I'll teach you how to play it with through the chords and, and uh, the strumming and everything. All right? Hang me
All right, let's go through the chords. Here's how it goes. Starts in C. Hang me, oh, hang me. And then it goes to F. I'll be dead. Back to C. Hang on. Hang me, oh. And then it goes to A minor. Hang me. Back to F. And I'll be dead. And C. Gone. Then it just alternates C to A minor twice. Don't mind the hanging A minor. It's the C staying in the grave. So A minor long, poor boy. And now it goes to a G sharp seven. So that's up here uh, at the fourth fret is where it starts. So it's first finger, second string, fourth fret, second finger, fourth string, fifth fret, third finger, third string, sixth fret, fourth finger, first string, sixth fret. And then you go right from that all of G7 around. And you slide it right up to C. The world. Let's just go back to that G sharp seven. So here's the way to think about it. Think about an F chord, regular standard everyday old F. And then if you went to an F7, you're just basically dropping that extra finger there at the uh, on the third string at the third fret. So that's your F7. So now think about it this way, F7, F sharp seven, G7, G sharp seven. Now up here, you need to drop your pinky finger down on the first string, okay? That's how I think about it. Um, and to get there, you make sure that you're playing your A minor with your second finger, not your first finger. And then all you do is you slide that right up to the fifth fret. So what I do is I'm looking here for this um, dot here and I slide right up to that spot and then I just drop my other fingers in place. So it goes from here. Just like that. Okay, let's talk about the strumming. So it's very simple, just boom, chuck, boom, chuck. If you guys have been on this channel before, it's like the paintbrush drum. Paintbrush. So you're hitting it with your thumb and you're just brushing with your fingers. Hang me, oh, hang me. And I'll be dead and gone. That's what I basically use. And sometimes I'll get a little flick coming back up to get that sledgehammer, if you guys know those drums, which is basically just down, down, up. Okay. Now, if you want, you can do a little bit of chord melody. You'll see I do um, a little instrumental in there. And all I'm doing here is me. So I'm dropping my second finger here at the uh, third fret on the second string. Me. And then I go up to the fifth fret on the second string with my pinky finger. Open. And I drop my third finger here like I'm playing a D minor. Just hammer it on. Back to C. And then I do it again. Then I go up to my A minor. And what I do is I leave my C chord in place. Like I leave my um, C position finger here in place. Because that's the note I want to And then I go to my F, I'll still leave it there, I'll be dead, and then I lift it, and back to C, go. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Same thing, la 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 la, I could just run it up, do do do, from the, the uh, third fret to the fifth, and I leave my finger in place here at, on the uh, C. Even though I'm playing my A minor. And then I go back to my C. La, la, in the grave. So now I go to my A minor. This time I don't leave my third finger in place. Grave so long, poor boy. Because this is where I have to be on my second finger to get ready to slide up to the G sharp 7. I'm all around the world. I've been all around this world. Okay, 
those little embellishments are just nice to do with an instrumental. It adds a little bit. You're not going to get every single exact note, but it's kind of nice because it just, it's like a nice strumming, soft instrumental with just enough embellishment you can pick the tune out as well, all right? Give that a whirl. Okay, folks, so that's it for tonight. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, if you haven't seen that movie, check it out. It's, uh, it's, it's a strange movie, but, but it's good. The music in it is really good. And it's actually based very, very loosely on Dave Van Ronk, who recorded this song back in the 60s. He was a big personality in uh, Greenwich Village. And you'll see there's a part where a Do uh, Bob Dylan character comes into play. And uh, anyway, it's a good, good movie. Good, good to check out. I think it's on Amazon. So that's it for today, folks. If you like what you've seen, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And any questions, any comments, drop them down into the comment section. I'm always more than happy to help you out. Until we see you next time, maybe at one of these videos. Keep smiling, keep strumming, and have fun. Bye for now.